North Ronald Sea is the most northerly inhabited Orkney Island. With only 60 residents, humans are outnumbered by the indigenous sheep 25 to 1. Sheep were on this island long before the Vikings, as much as 5,000 years ago. A dual purpose animal, they have always played a vital part in the lives of islanders, providing sustenance and fibres. The lives and physiology of this breed remained largely unchanged until 1832, when the fields on the island were turned over to cattle pasture. A 12 mile long dry stone dike was erected encircling the island and the sheep cast out onto the shore. The sheep adapted to their new environment and diet, subsisting on seaweed and sheltering against the six foot high dike. Governed by the celestial bodies, the sheep feed on the beaches at low tide and then rest higher up on the shore as the tide rises. The 1500 strong herd is communally managed by sheep farmers living in the island. Management is overseen by the sheep court. Established in 1839, the court is responsible for managing the grazing, deciding which bits of dike need to be rebuilt, and counting the sheep. The sheep are herded into stone enclosures called puns three times a year. This activity is known locally as punding. In August, the sheep are punded for shearing. Family members flock to the island to assist with this time-honoured tradition. Children and grandchildren help with running the sheep into the puns. A chorus of hand shears can be heard as everybody gets to work. The prized wool stuffed into sacks, organised into their natural colours. White, tones of grey, tan, dark chocolatey browns and black. The North Runnelsey sheep have a double layered fleece with extremely fine and soft wool fibres and coarser hairs. These hairs protect them from the harsh conditions that the island throws at them. The coat is thick with lanolin, softening the hands of the shearers. The mill on North Ronaldsea is where all the wool from the island is processed. It runs on wind power, of which there is abundance on this exposed island. Processing the wool on the island cuts down the carbon emissions of transportation and provides jobs for a rural, isolated community. These aren't machines that just get switched on in the morning and switched off at night. You need the human touch and staff with a wealth of experience. Soft wool fibres are separated from the coarse hairs at the mill to produce soft yarns. A valuable byproduct, the hair can be made into felt composted into a carbon-rich growing medium or used as insulation. As much as 35% of microplastics in the marine environment are fibres from synthetic clothing, an amount that continues to increase. But by contrast, wool readily biodegrades in both land and marine environments offering a less impactful solution and not contributing to microplastic pollution. Wool can decompose into soil in a matter of months, releasing nutrients back into the earth. 
Woolen garments are washed less often due to their odour and stain resistant properties as well as at lower temperatures. Wool is dried naturally, not in a tumble dryer which is discouraged as the mechanical friction is not good for the fibres. Over their lifetime, woolen garments require less inputs of water, energy and detergents that synthetic garments require. Wool is recyclable and the average lifetime of wool garments is 50% longer than cotton garments. It's one of nature's only truly sustainable textiles. Traceability is becoming an important aspect of the things we buy. Only when we see the full story can we realise the true value of a product. From the seaweed eating sheep on the wild shores of North Ronaldsey, hand sheared, skillfully spun in the wind powered mill, knitted or woven into garments, upholstery, soft furnishings, and carpets, yarn from North Ronaldsey embodies a slow fashion movement, sustainable, renewable, recyclable, biodegradable, and ethical. <laughs>